Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Feminine Diaries for the 10th of July 2023. Holy Spirit, show me what Divine Feminine needs to hear today. The Empress B, 30. Somebody's getting married or there's something you need to know about the married woman. 25, the Gargoyle. 25th of June could be significant or the 30th of June. There's a fallen angel here. Somebody used to be an angel, used to be a divine masculine or divine feminine. And this could be a family member of yours. It could be a mother figure. could be your own mother or somebody else's mother. We've got 29, the moon, and 47, the tree of life. This person could be between 29 and 47. Could be older than that. Could be younger even. Anyway, what's going on with this uh, fallen angel here? Again, there's another car backing up. And, oh yeah, it's the same energy. I was talking about annoyances yesterday, or when? I think yesterday. And I was talking about the car backing up <laughs> as I was reading the cards. Look, the tree of life is in reverse. And again, the moon. So we had the tree of life in the upright and now it's in reverse. It could be that there's an elder in your family or just a woman who could be aging rapidly. Who is about to lose, yes, the tree of life. There you go. Also, somebody could be losing a pregnancy. I was picking up on an abortion yesterday. Somebody could be having an abortion and it's a ritualistic one. Or somebody's just going to lose their life. The temple of earth. Somebody or something is going to be underground here. The sea lion, 33. 44, the lunatic. Very interesting. Lots of um, <sighs> master numbers. The master is going under. 13, Avalarian, that's my death card. 14, the spark, and 13 again, that's my other death card. So both of my death cards are already out, and the tree of life was in reverse. So that's definitely what's happening to somebody. Again, I feel like there is a woman who's having an abortion, and it's ritualistic. Also, this woman could have already had the child. The child could even be 14. Could be a female 18 stone fist 25 and 5 leah again 18 and 25 come up together there are definitely two people colluding and one's born on the 18th the other one's born on the 25th and also could be somebody born on the 22nd all these people are colluding they've been trying to sacrifice somebody possibly since they were in utero or since they were 14 who are they trying to sacrifice so badly? Is this somebody who is now an adult or is this an unborn child? Yes, it's an adult. That's a yes for me. Another yes, the righteous cold one. And again, all these older men keep coming out together. So a group of older men, somebody's elders have sacrificed them. These men could be a part of the same organization. They could be Freemasons or this could be another cult or secret society. They could also be a part of the government. 39 in Kanyamba. So we've got the lunatic clarified by in Kanyamba. This is anger, a lot of anger. Somebody's dealing with a lot of anger issues. 22 Tudor. 12, the wise old lady. This is somebody advising a younger person. Maybe this is the person who's about to be sacrificed because the spark and tutor to me look very similar. So there could be an older woman advising a child or a very young person. This person might be between 14 and 22. The magic bag, 4 and 47, the tree of life. So this is a family member. There's something here. There's something weird here with these last cards. So there could be an, an older family member or even an ancestor who left a certain type of inheritance to this younger person. This could be a physical inheritance, but it could also be a spiritual inheritance. But whenever I see this woman with the finger like that, that makes me think of cursing. So 
this inheritance could actually be a curse. This man or this person could have inherited a curse from an ancestor. It's interesting because these two look like they're different races. So this could be somebody else's ancestor who's cursing this man or this child. Is this a is this tutor guy a child? Is this tutor a child? Is tutor a child? Let's clarify. Is tutor a child? No. The mother of the woods in reverse is not a child. We've got 22nd of March. I've been seeing this date a lot. Could be significant for somebody. It's on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. So, no, it's not the child. This is this could be a pa parent. I just stutter. This person could stutter. Or maybe when they're stressed up, they stutter. Uh, this is somebody's parent. So, whoever tutor is, they are the parent. They could be the one who is having the abortion, possibly. Or this is the person who wants to sacrifice their child. This is a female. The female is either born in March or on the 3rd or on the 22nd. Two. Prince Charming. Yeah, it's true. What I just said is true. That's what Prince Charming means. It's a yes to what I just said. Also, somebody could have a more masculine energy. So this is a female who is a mother or is pregnant, but they're not very motherly. They're not very nurturing. They have a much more masculine energy to them. This is like Queen of Pentacles reversed energy. So Queen of Pentacles reversed is somebody who is not a good mother, basically. And uh, this person could be very obsessed with material things, right? We've got the bag here. The Empress High Priestess here, 27 Simmer. Somebody be born on the 27th. Somebody be born on the 22nd. And somebody could be 38, the Empress of the Fairies. We've got Empress High Priestess and Divine Feminine he Energy here. I almost said Hennessy. I don't know why. Somebody's name could be Hennessy or somebody drinks Hennessy. I don't know how that's significant, but it could be for someone. Right, there could be a Divine Feminine who's between 27 and 38 here. This could be your family. These could be your family members. This could be your mother or stepmother or something of the sort, Divine Feminine. And we've got the World 36 on the bottom of the deck. Hmm... Also, I'm getting another message. This person could have a very feminine, uh, loving and nurturing image. But actually, this person has the mind of a man. And this person is not actually nurturing and loving and kind. So I'm getting a woman with a very masculine energy. And this woman could be cursed. She could be under a curse. So somebody could have cursed this woman to make sure that this woman will never be a good parent. That's also possible. Or, yeah, this could be from her mother or grandmother. This could be somebody else altogether. Like I said, it could be somebody from another family who's cursed this woman. We've got 26 and 2, the Empress B. Libra, Taurus, or Pisces energy could be significant. Somebody is the leader of a coven or a group. This could be a ring leader. I just saw the ring here. I thought ring leader. And this is another Empress B. They're both Empress B here. There could be a matriarch of a family. This matriarch is very masculine. Or there could be two women here. There could be two women. Also, this woman, this mother figure, could be getting advice from an older woman. This older woman could have um, taught the younger woman some kind of witchcraft. Also, with the mother of the woods in reverse here, this makes me think of black magic. Because even in the upright, this is a witch for me. But in the reverse, this is like a dark witch or a low vibrational witch. 40, Iana the Fairy. Somebody could be 40, specifically could be a water sign. 8, Mishipeshu. Somebody could be born in August or on the 8th or somebody has an 8 life path. And then we've got 16, Days is the Healer. The 16th of August could be significant for somebody that's in Leo season. There could be a whole family of witch doctors here, or maybe actual doctors, people who might have to do with uh, the medical field or a healing profession in one way or another. One, Leah, 42, Starbuck, 
20 Canotila and 29 Amarash. There's a plan. Somebody has a plan from now up until 2029. Not sure what the plan is, maybe for world domination. Somebody wants to become a star or somebody will become a star. I was getting a similar message yesterday that a group of people were trying to sacrifice this Leah, a younger female. This female could be 14 or she was cursed when she was 14. This woman could be born on the 1st. She could have a one-life path. She could be born in January. She could be an Aries. She could be a Taurus. She could be an Aquarius. She could be a Sagittarius. Anyway, there is a younger female in this family who's meant to be famous. And uh, these people could have sacrificed this woman so they can become famous. Because this woman could have a particular astrological chart that... Um, indicates the fact that this woman is meant to be famous so when you do your birth chart there are certain indicators that you might become very famous so these people these elders in the family knew that this younger woman was going to become famous and that's why they chose to sacrifice her so they can steal her fame steal her star as they say this is the star right Somebody could be on the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius. Somebody could be a Taurus. Somebody could be an Aries, etc. I also said Sagittarius. Somebody could also be any fire sign. 18, ho oh, oh. Somebody's going through a transformation or a spiritual awakening, or somebody went through a spiritual awakening. So, whoever this Leah is, 25, the gargoyle. This is interesting. You see how col colorful this card is and how gray this one is. Somebody drained this person of their energy, of their life force. So whoever Leah is, she could feel very drained or she could feel like she's older, like she's sick, like she's stiff. So this person's star could have been stolen already. I'm not sure if you can get that back, but or at least this person feels like it was stolen already. But I think this person needs to recall their energy back to them. They need to do some kind of prayers or maybe even some kind of spell to pull their energy back. Because their energy could have been sacrificed already. Can this woman pull her energy back from the people who stole it? The Siberian Wolf 7. That's evil eye. So there's definitely somebody evil eyeing this person and trying to steal their energy. The devil. Oh my god. 26th of July and the 25th of July could be significant. That's in Leo season. So there is a Leo possibly who's evil eyeing someone. Could also be a Libra or a Capricorn. 38, the Empress of the Fairies. And 23, the Magic Wolf. There could be a woman who has a big dog, possibly. The sun and the mace, 34 and 27. There's definitely a Leo here. Could be an Aries, too, or somebody has Aries and Leo in their chart. So that's what I'm getting. Somebody stole this person's energy already. 9, Pamola. 15, Sarah. The 27th of September and the 15th of September could be significant. 26, Diana, the fairy, and 36, the world. There could be a whole coven here of males and females who are stealing the same person's energy. They're all stealing from the same person energetically. Yeah, the lake of fairies. It's a whole group. It's a whole coven who's powered up by the energy of one single person, this Leah here. The snake, 42. 28 Garuda and 11 the magic whistle again there's some kind of transformation happening there is some kind of change here with the siren and the magic whistle I feel like somebody's calling for help so Leah here knows that she needs to recall her energy back she's asking for um, justice here yes it's true 24 could be significant Somebody be 24. Or there's somebody who's 24 years older than this woman. 
who's stealing their energy. Could be a parental figure, could be their own mother or father. Six, the Pegasus. 24 also breaks down to six. The number six could be significant. This could also be a love interest with the number six. It's somebody from the past. It could also be somebody who raised them when they were a child growing up. Or somebody they've known growing up. Bullseye. 525, five, Leah and 29, the moon. Again, it could be a mother figure. Leah's mother. Leah and her mother don't see eye to eye. And Leah doesn't know that her mother is her enemy. The moon talks about secrets. And this woman's looking away while Leah's looking in this direction. Six, the Pegasus. Leah could be a Sagittarius or she has strong Sagittarius in her chart. 20, King Tarbus. So there could be a, a girl here and these are her two parents and she doesn't know that her mother is the enemy. She thinks her father is the enemy. They could both be the enemy, but this one's more obvious. King of Swords can be very harsh with their words, very cutting. So Leah could be thinking that the, the father here is the bad guy. But this one's doing something in secret behind her back. So she's doing something more sinister than the father. And there's rejection here. So whoever Leah is, they have rejection and abandonment wounds. So they have issues with both their mother and their father. Right, okay, there we go. 23, the Kraken. And the Temple of Water. Somebody could be crying. I hope I didn't make somebody cry with this reading, but... Um, 22 Quetzalcoatl. Maybe I made the mother cry. Zaira, the fairy, 43, and the youngest son, 35. Uh, Leah could have a brother, possibly, or this woman has a brother. Two Hodag, revenge. Somebody wants revenge, 40 and 50 year. Somebody wants to have another person arrested. Who's gonna be arrested? Who's going to be arrested? Who are they trying to arrest? The Prince of Fire. Could be an Aries, could be a fire sign, could be somebody who's very aggressive. And the Beast with seven heads, 14. Look, 14, 41, mirroring. And 18, Stone Fist. Who's getting arrested, please? Who's the Prince of Fire? Is this a man? 34, Zartan. We've got 33 and 34. This could be somebody who's 33 and turning 34, possibly. I see these two numbers together a lot. 33 and 34. Who is getting arrested or who are they trying to have arrested? Stone Fist. He was uh, on the bottom of the deck right when uh, this came out. So this could be somebody born on the 18th specifically. Could be an Aries born on the 18th. Could also be somebody who's on the cusp of Pisces and Aries because 18 is the moon in the Major Arcana, which is Pisces. So, yeah, it's either an Aries or a Pisces, Aries cusp. Aries again, the Temple of Fire. Also, this is my Four of Wands card. So, again, we've got the 18th of April here. So, this could be one of my enemies here. Or it's just an Aries, the moon. The moon could be Cancer or Pisces. 7-7, seven, seven, the 7th of July. Okay, so somebody wants to have this one arrested. Okay. Who knows what he's done, but I'm sure he's capable of, of many things that could land you in jail. I hear the helicopter now. It could actually be a police helicopter because they come up a lot. They uh, follow people or <laughs> sometimes. Oh my god. Okay. So how... 18, ho oh, oh. I was talking about somebody's energy being drained from them. And I had this card. Something about the year 2018. Somebody could be could have been stalking another person since 2018 and maybe that's what they are arrested for or something happened in 2018 specifically 
an Aries and a Pisces could both be arrested for stalking somebody since 2018. Am I right about this? Both an Aries and a Pisces are about to be arrested for stalking, right? The magic bag, four, that's my Aries card. And the troll. Yeah, somebody's a troll and a stalker and somebody could have actually stolen from another person. Whoever is the troll and the stalker is about to be arrested, especially if this person has been stalking since 2018 specifically. Eight, Mishi Peshu, somebody's a shapeshifter, somebody's very two-faced. People wouldn't expect this person to do something like this. That's what I'm getting here, the sea lion. This person has some kind of power and authority and they've been abusing it. Leo, so we've got fire again. Somebody could have Leo in their chart. Pisces and Capricorn. There could be a Leo, Pisces and a Capricorn. Or somebody's born on the 8th or in August or they have an 8th life path. 33 or 6 could also be significant. There could be a Capricorn with a 33 life path who might get arrested for stalking. That's another person here. This person is very powerful. Again, you wouldn't expect this person to do something like that. There could also be a Leo. There could be a Cancer Leo Cusp or a Leo with Pisces in their chart. Okay, so there are multiple people who are about to be arrested for stalking. All of these people had some kind of power and authority and they abused it. So now they're about to be put to task. Throwing the evil eye. Inuit 4 in reverse. The Empress of the Fairies in reverse. Somebody could be 38, somebody could be born in April. 14, somebody be born on the 14th. The beast with seven heads reversed. 21, the soul fairy godmother reversed. Now these two, these two could be some very powerful people. Definitely you wouldn't expect them to be stalking random people. But they are. 32, the naughty bridge reversed. And three, the mother of the woods reversed. So again, this could be somebody's mother or somebody who has an abortion or had an abortion or something like that okay this could also be somebody's mother could be your mother divine feminine or somebody around you bullseye it's leah's mother i guess five two five there's a change that's happening hmm somebody could be a gemini or sagittarius somebody's mother could have also crossed over This mother could be going through some kind of judgment. So we've got Sarah 15 here. Sarah could be the Empress B. I mean the Empress of the Fairies reversed here. This woman could even be arrested at gunpoint or something like that. Or this person has been taken down spiritually. They've been, um, yeah, taken down spiritually. They could also be taken down physically. Oh my god, the Temple of Earth and Inkanyamba 39. This one's gonna lose it and she's gonna get tranquilized. That's what I think is going to happen. This could be like a tranquilizer, garn, or dart, or something. I don't know how that works. Okay. She's gonna get an injection in her bum. Look at that injection. The youngest son. Again. Bow and arrow. The Temple of Fire and Nine Pamola. The girl with the matches. Sarah is the girl with the matches. She wants to tear down, not tear down, to burn down somebody's house. And that's when she's going to get arrested. When she tries to burn down somebody's house. So this is the arsonist we were getting. I think this is a woman. Is there a female arsonist? Is there a female? 18 ho -Oh. Could be a, the other person. Could be the man. Could be a man and a woman. I also have been seeing 18 and 15 coming up a lot together. Not just 18 and 25. So these two could also be colluding. 40 and 50. This talks about authorities. So like I said, these people had some kind of authority. They were abusing their authority so they can hurt somebody. Or steal somebody's energy. Leah. Leah's energy. There you go. 20, yeah, exactly. Remember how I was talking about somebody being drained of energy? We had the, the phoenix and the gargoyle here. They were stealing her energy, her essence. 
Yeah, it's true. King Tarvis is a yes, it's King of Swords energy. A whole group of people was stealing energy from one person. And these could be family members or friends or something of the sort. To Hodag. That's my revenge card. So there's going to be some kind of uh, retribution happening here. For whatever these people have been doing. Something's coming to collect here. Could be from the other side. Oh my god. Also, these people could have been very envious of somebody and they've been stealing this person's energy. This person might not even know that she's being envied by all these people. Yes, it's true. The Righteous Call 148, that's a yes. The Castle in the North 25, that's also a yes because both of these are air cards for me. So the elders in somebody's family were actually envious of this younger woman. And these could be intellectuals. These could be people who are very powerful, very intelligent. Because I've got Libra and Aquarius energy here. So that usually talks to me about high intellect. Doesn't always happen that way though. Not all Libras and Aquarians are very smart. Not the ones I'm thinking about anyway. 29, the moon, and 20, Kanotila, the mother here, watching, mother, father, and uh, uncle, or whoever here watching, cousin, hey, cousin Vinny, <laughs> the moon, 7-7, seven, seven, and the crack, and 23, the 23rd of July is here again, hello, Leo, and stone fist, 18, stone fist, <laughs> Stonefist is about to get arrested. <gasps> oh my god. The devil. And possibly somebody who's born on the 26th in February or June. Stonefist and the devil are getting arrested. There you go. Maybe Stonefist is the devil. Look, Tudor. Tudor is getting arrested. And 28. 26, 28, 22, 18. Bingo. <laughs> 27. Simmer. Nine nine. The ninth of September is significant for somebody. The world thirty six. It's over. <laughs> okay, the end of the reading here. It's over because the cop is coming to get somebody. 